Well, hello everybody. I'm Jack and this is Raw Tropical Living. Thanks for joining me today. Hope you guys are all doing well. Um, I'm sure this will come out sometime around the weekend, so I will just tell you I hope you're having, uh, hope you have, hope you're having a great weekend by the time uh, you watch this. Um, what I want to talk today about is uh, giving thanks for my food all day, every day. Um, what do I mean about that? What's that all about? Um, I do videos every day, so if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit that subscribe button now. Then be sure and click on the little bell and check send notifications so you'll know when new videos come out. Uh, cut into, I thought this was a perfect time for this video. I've been thinking about this a um, little bit. Um, you might have remembered one of my Saturday videos, Saturday night videos. I think it wasn't, I don't think it was last week. I think it was the week before last, doubling down on gratitude. Well, that's just become something when I say it, it's a practice because, you know, when I said doubling down on gratitude, it didn't mean like, boom, I'm just, you know, I'm there. I, I, have, a, I have a feeling of gratitude. It's something we have to work on all the time and especially me. Um, you know, I, I, I was determined when plans changed a couple of months ago. I was, I'm not, I mean, who's going to lie? People sometimes try to lie about things, I think, just because it doesn't sound good or to make them sound better. But I was disappointed. I'm not going to lie. I was disappointed I wasn't going back to Costa Rica. Um, and, but quite quickly, I decided that I wasn't going to live in this vibe of thinking about what I was missing, what fruits I was missing, what food I was missing. Um, you know, mammy sapotes are, man, those are right up there with mangoes for me. I, you don't even know how, <laughs> how much I would like to be down there eating mammy sapotes. Or like I told my mom yesterday, pineapple. Pineapple was as common as bananas in Costa Rica. And, um, and I just, you know, now I'd give anything for one. I'd give anything for, you know, having the, the coconuts at, my, at available at the prices I could get them. But I'm still getting a lot of good stuff and I'm eating very well and I'm very fortunate to be getting what I'm getting. So I just try, like I say, every day it just, it gets stronger and stronger. And, you know, I, I do this. This is not something I just do a video about or think about, um, every once in a while, like, oh, you know, give a little bit of lip service to it. I really try to, I look at my food, like uh, as I'm eating this first cantaloupe of the season, which is pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, I have not had a good cantaloupe in years. Oh, and those little black flecks, my little trick, I put just a little bit of black pepper on there. It makes a nice contrast. But as I cut this, and I'm doing this with almost all foods I eat these days, like, you know, I just really, I, I as I'm eating, before I'm eating it, as I'm eating it, I'm very aware. And I give thanks for this melon, you know. There's things that I, I you know, I didn't know. The fruit is not quite as good here as it is in Costa Rica, obviously, the tropics. But, you know, after a year of being here, I've found my little tricks. I've found my places. I've found how to, you know, make this lifestyle work where I happen to find myself right now. Mm. That is so good. I've missed cantaloupe. So yeah, you know, it's been a great year. And when I look back, I'm like, you know, think about the things that I'm grateful for instead of, it's like focusing where we put our mind is very powerful. Like I say, I have two paths I could walk. Imagine me coming to a fork in the road. I could take that left fork and I could be sitting around all the time reminiscing and oh, I don't get this. I don't have my sugar cane juice. I don't have that. Or I can take that right fork and be like, you know, there's a lot of people that watch my channel that are in places that they hardly ever any time of the year get good, get decent fruit. So, um, I've, so I'm, I'm grateful. I don't want to whine or complain about that when I'm getting good. What I've been all this year, you know, through the winter, through the winter, got through the winter on, um, good oranges. I had good affordable oranges, had lots of orange juice. Um, the mangoes came earlier than I expected. I've been getting beautiful, beautiful, very sweet Atafo mangoes for the past three or four months now. Um, I've already had more good watermelons this year than I've had in the past five years combined. And now it seems like there I'll be able to find um, cantaloupe from time to time. I get jackfruit in the Asian markets um, at times and I actually have another couple of little places I haven't even checked out yet that are supposed to be sources for um, melons. So I might even, uh, you know, if the melon quality slows down here, I'll uh, try, I'll bounce a little bit, go down to a little town that's about 30 minutes from here. Mm. 
and see what I can find there. But yeah, man, this is just, this is how I live my life now. And the simple things, the simple things and all day, all day. It's not even just like, you know, and I respect that. Some people make a formal thing where they sit down and they say a prayer of thanks or they say grace or they say whatever before their meal. And I've done that in the past and I used to do that too, but it used to be just kind of very, um, what do you say, uniform. You know, you just say, you kind of have this standard thing, but now I really like to express. I really like to, you know, take a little bit of time and not just before, during, and after. That's a great way to look at it. I like to really, you know, as I'm cutting it and I'm looking at it, I really, I savor the thankfulness about all, all, the whole experience, you know, the colors, the smell. The smell on these um, cantaloupe are incredible, by the way. Um, and then as I'm eating it, I'm enjoying, I'm really, but you know, trying to be mindful as well of the taste of it. And uh, then afterwards, I'm just happy because I'm, I'm filled, I'm not overfilled, I feel good, you know, such a great fruit you know, the higher water content fruits. And, you know, that's just my practice. That's my day-to-day -day practice. And that has probably brought me as much, if not more, than actually the way and the things that I'm consuming. Although the things that I'm consuming, I believe, led the path to me being able to appreciate things the way I do now in a way I did, wasn't able to um, when I was a sorry drunk. <laughs> but anyhow... Um, you know, I'm just going to come back to you a little bit again and just um, show a little bit more uh, thankfulness when um, I eat the next thing. This is kind of like a different sort of, it's kind of in between a food video and a weekend video and uh, it's sort of uh, what I eat, but I'm not going to do everything I eat today, but I'll be back in just a bit. Now this I have at least five or six times a week, at least, banana and ice cream. And this is just plain banana and ice cream. No cacao, no nothing. And it's so good and it's so thick and creamy. Even though I eat this five or six times a week, I, it never gets old and I never cease to just kind of look at it for a minute. You know, I literally, I do this for my food when I sit down. I really think like, man, I am so thankful to be about to eat this. I mean, on this lifestyle, I mean, the, the, the ice cream is just amazing to me still. It, like I said, it never gets old. It's like, I can eat all of this. I can go eat and I can go make more of this. I can eat as much as I want to, where I remember back in the old days having to think about, okay, I'm going to eat a pint of this or that, and it had, what, a gazillion calories, a bunch of bad ingredients, uh, dairy, and... Uh, so much fat in it, but this, you can just eat it and eat it and eat it. And it makes the lifestyle so easy, so enjoyable. I feel bad for the people that don't, that aren't really down with the banana. I understand some people can eat them. Some people just don't like them, but, uh, yeah, I always think like, I'm not sure people would actually, can actually quite relate to me if they don't do bananas. Not because I'm like, you know, I'm not knocking that at all. Everybody likes what they like, but it's just such a big part of my lifestyle. And I get those next level really serious questions from time to time. <laughs> well, sure, is, is the ice cream, is, the, is it good? Is we, have we damaged the this or that? I'm like, I don't know. I don't think that deep into it. I'm like, uh, I'm eating ice cream made out of fresh frozen bananas with no ingredients. Is it perfect? I don't know. But how bad could it really be for you? But... Yeah, it never, I always give thanks, and I'm always very, very mindful. I'm probably a little bit more mindful than other things when I eat the banana and ice cream. But like I say, when it becomes, a, when you really make it a practice, notice I keep using that word, practice. When you make a practice of giving thanks for all your food, it just becomes uh, natural. And it just brings a different abundance to your life just being thankful for everything in your life. It just brings, like I say, going back to that video on doubling down on gratitude, there's just um, something that um, a practice of gratitude brings to your life that just can't quite be put into words to somebody that had an experience. So, um, you know, like I say, that's part of it. Be aware of that food, be mindful of that food, and be grateful for what you're getting to eat, even if it's not the optimal food, because there's a lot of people out there that would love to have 
anything that we're eating and they're you know they would feel fortunate to have it so i'll see you guys probably again for at least one more segment okay i would be remiss if i did a video on giving thanks for my food being grateful without including the beautiful mango i just cut myself up um four medium size atafo mangoes um and I, listen, this is just super gratitude here because I am, I've gotten, these Atalfo mangoes, I didn't get a lot of them in uh, Costa Rica. And although I got some really good quality mango down there, this is some of the best tasting mango I've ever had. I really love the Atalfo uh, mangoes. Um, so I cut myself some up. I'm about to go to the gym in a few minutes. So I just kind of cut some up so I'd have some in the fridge, nice and cold, ready to go when I get back. But uh, yeah, that's what it's always been about for me. And that's what it's always going to be. Um, the most, Im the food, this is the most important part of my food is the giving thanks, the gratitude, the always being awareness of, aware of what I'm eating. And to be quite honest, that's probably the most important part of my life, of my practice, of all my practices is the giving gratitude. And that started uh, resonating with me very early on, although it has developed um, over time. I mean, I'm never going to be about that. That's just not me. And that's just not what I'm interested in about, you know, being all sciencey and let's discuss down to the detail and know every detail and know every aspect and all the facts and the figures and this and that. I mean, I'm just happy. You know, I'm happy to be alive. I'm grateful to be alive. I'm grateful to have the health and uh, that I have after, you know, the way I treated myself for so many years in life. So, yeah, that's just it. That's my practice. That is my practice in life is gratitude, giving thanks for everything I have around me. So, um, you know, give it a try sometime. You might have a little bit more peace in your life if you're a little bit more grateful for your food and not always like worrying and arguing and debating everything you're putting in your mouth. Anyhow, hope you guys enjoyed this one today. If you like it, I'd appreciate it if you'd give me a thumbs up and I'll see you again tomorrow. Peace.